you know, Chelsea will get back to the top. I think it's been tough. You know, the last two decades, it's been just continuous success, competing always at the top. And then, you know, to finish in the mid-table last year, Pochettino was coming in, and then the injury crisis has happened, and the results didn't go well. But the last three, four games, I've seen signs, particularly in the midfield, with a balance of Enzo, Casado, and Connor. And um, you've got, yeah, you've got quite, quite promising signs lately. We're off to, to play golf with Conor Gallagher today. Really excited to see him, you know, pick his brains on, on, on how he thinks he's doing this season. We may maybe ask him for him, what does it mean to be a Chelsea player? Hey. Hello, mate. How are you That's doing? Joe. Good, mate. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Looking a million. Thank you, mate. So are you? Training today? <laughs> Yeah, a bit of training. Yeah. We um, the lads who started done uh, done a warm down. Yeah, and then, uh, the other lads done um, some training. So yeah, it's all good, good mate. So good. You must be happy with the performance against Arsenal. We played really well, didn't we? Yeah, you know what? It's um, it's a lot of good things, and I feel like we're improving, which is obviously something that we've been trying to do desperately yeah. recently. So a lot of positives to take. Obviously, we would have liked to have won the game, but like you said, there's a lot of good stuff. The first ten minutes, we were right on it. it was you and Cole yeah. Palmer in that central position, and you had Raheem and Mikhail. Like that, that was a little. Was that a little little tweak from the gaffer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was a tactical thing, because it's it's not really normal, was it? We didn't have a striker. Yeah. Me and Cole were the two highest players, and obviously I'm not a striker. And yeah, Raz and, and Misha on the wings, obviously I got speed like crazy. So that was kind of the tactic. You know, it worked well, and it was a, a, a good game. Yeah. Now do you know what? Usually we do this in the car, but today we're at the driving range. Let's go and whack some balls. Come on, let's do it. Yeah. Cool. I think you're the golfer, I think no, you should I'm go not first. The, well, are you sure? Yeah, go on, have a go. <laughs> right. Do you play a bit? I'm not a good player, but I no. played in James Madison's golf oh, day yeah. the other day. How was that? It was brilliant. It was yeah. great, especially because Crouchy was there and he didn't get past the ladies' tee on the first tee. <laughs> so the pressure got to him. And I, I, I put it on the green, so that was alright. Especially because I can't really play. Wait, right I'll check one of these. Yeah. There you go. He's a player. Straight He's down a the player. middle. Straight down the middle. Leave it out. <laughs> That's alright, I'm happy with that. You've been at Chelsea since you're a kid, so. You know the demands of the club. You now you've got given the armband. You feel the responsibility of keeping them standards high. Yeah, definitely. So obviously, I was a big, big Chelsea fan yeah. um, growing up, and looked up to you know you, Frank, that team that, that you were heavily involved in. And I know what Chelsea means to the fans, to everyone, and I think we are a club that needs to be competing for trophies and for titles. So there's a lot of expectation that um, we have, but. I think there's a lot of talent in the squad to get to that stage. Last sort of six, seven months has not been a settled midfield, but you, Enzo and Casado seem to have yeah. that nice balance going on. Yeah, I mean, they're both top players. Yeah. Um, you forget how young they are, to be honest. Can I let you hit this? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't yeah. worry, we'll edit that one yeah, out. Yeah, we'll edit that one out. But yeah, they're top talents. You know, yeah. they're both younger than me, which feels weird for me to say. Yeah. But um, yeah, they've been really good and hopefully it'll just get better. We can understand yeah. our games yeah, even that, more. You've been there so long and there's been such a like a turnover of like of players, isn't there? Like, yeah. But have you, have you noticed that? Because when, when did you make your debut? It was last season. That was my competitive debut for Chelsea. No. After the Palace loan when I, yeah, yeah that was my debut. And yeah, I think it's important for teams that win titles, they normally have kind of a set 11. Oh, Shrink. In the trees. Yeah. <laughs> He's loving it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, say yeah. Arsenal last season, they had kind of their small squad, kind of, yeah. and they kept similar players playing yeah. most games. Whereas last season, for us, for example, we had, had so many players and it was difficult to yeah. keep everyone happy, which makes a big difference, isn't it? Pulls to Gallagher, struck it well, and scores! His first goal in the Premier League. What a moment for the youngster. Go on, have a shot. Can I ask you about your loan spells? Because I know you took a lot out of West Brom, the Charlton, yeah. and particularly the Palace loan. And I can't remember one of the lads come to speak to you when he was doing so well there. 
they was asked you the question about signing for Palace, but you was very forefront. You said like, no, no, I'm going to be a Chelsea player. I mean, yeah. was that always it? I'm playing for Chelsea, no matter, yeah, no matter what. It always was. Obviously, Chelsea fan growing up. My dad a massive Chelsea fan. So yeah, the dream was always to play for Chelsea, yeah. and that was always in my mind. Obviously, I'm not going to lie. When I was at Palace, it was so good. Yeah. Like. I was just enjoying it in the moment. That season yeah. was incredible and I loved it. And then after the season finished, it was kind of like, all right, like, what's next? Yeah. So yeah, the dream was always to play a big part at Chelsea. Gallagher again. Still Gallagher. Oh, he's done it again. That's a brilliant goal. Cool as you like. Super piece of skill. He's a bandit, this man. I'm on he fire Straight today. down the middle. <laughs> I can't even hit one down the middle here. Um, so the loan spells were, were crucial to you and, and you ended up coming back yeah. this summer there was a lot of speculation yeah. or was it just no I'm going to gonna be honest, make this work before I kind of met Pochettino the manager I wasn't sure because there was so so much happening at the club so many players leaving so many coming in go on I'll let you hit this oh for <laughs> Christ's sake <laughs> to the right <laughs> wing right over there that's what I'm trying to do alright stop it yeah but not um, my clubs until pre-season started with with uh, the gaffer now, and he just seemed to have a connection with, yeah. with me as a player, and he seemed to like me a lot, and we have a good relationship. And after that, kind of carried on. Pre-season was brilliant. Start mm. of the season, brilliant. In terms of me playing games, which I didn't have so much last season, and yeah, yeah I was buzzing to, to play under him and stay at Chelsea and prove myself to the club and, and the fans more this season. Go on. <laughs> is that a go, bro? Go on. How much is that worth? <laughs> they don't break, do they? That one did. <laughs> you get the captain's armband. How good was that? No, it was incredible, honestly. I didn't expect it at all, to be honest. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of players left and the captains kind of left in that summer, so Reese was named captain, which is deserved. He's a, obviously an unreal player. Yeah. and. Uh, Chelsea f through and through, but you know, when I got the armband, it was just, just an honour to be honest. Really proud. So I just kept being myself and um, not kind of changing. Yeah. So yeah, it was. It's, it's been good. I, I enjoyed the responsibility. It's been a great journey. I've been here for about eight years now. Been here from the beginning. I pushed on a lot. I've progressed, and I just hope I can keep on doing that. For the fans, I think it's important they have someone that they can relate to. Do you feel the not the pressure, but the, the sort of the responsibility, you know, because the fans, rightly so, will see you as one of their own. Yeah, and that makes me really proud, to be honest mm. with you. I loved playing in the academy growing up, and the training ground is 10 minutes from where I grew up, so it feels like home to me, and I appreciate how the fans think about me as, as, as one of their own. The position you're in, and the fans really love you. Yeah. You know that when you play a game and you just, for some reason it's not working, I think you're in a position where, you know, one of them, like, just get the crowd involved. I think you can do that. I saw Jude do it for England when Italy yeah. scored, and he did it, and it sort of caught them back in the game, got the energy back in the game. Jude does it a lot, and yeah. it, it does work. Like, it gets the crowd going, which helps the team. Yeah. And, like, there was a time in the Arsenal game the other day. Yeah where we were we were winning still yeah. and I pressed someone and pressed yeah. someone else and then a few of the other lads done it yeah. and then we won the ball back and then the crowd just loved it you. and they, they, come, they with come with you. us mm. and I think it makes such a big difference and mm. I, that feeling is unreal like yeah. doing something just when it's just running yeah, yeah, yeah. but the crowd come with you and it's that's like, a good feeling. Go on Connor, he, he, he should Get hit another one. I'm yeah. keep going down right. <laughs> you got three brothers. Connor, yeah? yeah. I've seen your brother, was it your brother's skill when we've done that? Yeah, that's skill. right. Yeah. <laughs> He's going viral. Yeah, Jake. They all still play. One's a kind of player manager yeah. for lower leagues, um, Rains Park Vale. And his twin brother plays for his team, right. Jake, the one who. Oh, so his twin brother's being managed by him? Yeah. Wow. But they kind of do it together, guys, yeah. I think. Yeah, and my other brother's in uh, the National League with, with Dorkin. Yeah, it's a footballing family. Yeah, your poor mum and dad, four footballers. My poor mum, yeah. Right. yeah. You must have had some tear-ups between you. <laughs> no, dad, no, we did, yeah. Were they, were they trouble? <laughs> if he's the youngest and he's like my youngest, he, was a, he must be a lunatic then. I can't control my youngest. <laughs>
Yeah, no, we, we, uh, we're all so close and we all love football yeah. and we get along so well and yeah. growing up was, was amazing. Yeah. Like. My boys both play. I need to get a shirt signed. You're my, my eldest favourite player. Yeah. He models his game on you. He wants to get the barnet as well. Yeah. yeah, so get in early, because if you're anything like your dad, <laughs> you're only there for a few years. <laughs> <laughs> so this season, you think Champions League is yeah, a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. I, I look at the team now, and I see where the, the league table is, and I, I, I think it is. It's going to be really tough. I think we're still off the top teams, but I think we'll keep improving the more yeah. we play together. So top four is definitely the, the aim for us, but yeah, I think we're definitely, definitely good enough. Yeah. So. We'll Definitely see. good one. Cheers, Good's mate. Man, Absolute pleasure. pleasure, mate. Appreciate it. We'll send you the bill for the camera. <laughs>